Kelly Reed, welcome to the podcast. Hello. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. We're just saying, busy, busy. How can it even be? 16.29 as we record this. We tried to record it yesterday at four o'clock and then we're both busy. And then today we were both biggie. We just keep having to push things back, don't we? Because it's so busy. Live events. So you and I have not been on the road since. Actually, when was the last time you did a live fitness Pilates workshop or event? The last courses that we did... I, the, as in like training courses were, I think they were the February before we went into lockdown in the think, April. I know we got booked for April and then obviously we couldn't do it, but that wasn't a, that wasn't a tour before then. Obviously me and you, we would tour multiple times in the year together, separate. I think we did. We did the Fitness Plate Summit, November 2019. Yeah. I think you did a couple, I think you did a level three in January, maybe I Bristol. I think you then did a London, I think you did Kensington, David Lloyd. That was Fitness uh, Pilates. That Fitness Pilates Court, three. yeah. I did Activation Band Tour at the same time. And then that was it. We didn't go yeah. on the road again until now. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's it's a big one. I mean, for you and I, how we really built our careers were was doing tours, meeting everybody, going to the regions, all the different regions around the country from Scotland to John O'Groats. We went everywhere. And it's always been good because we've been able to meet lots of instructors. Instructors can network, chat with each other, put faces to names, meet people that they meet on social media and just generally keep freestyle and instructors, keep those little networks going because after FitPro finished, FitPro used to do a lot of regional events and, and workshops. There was really only you and I and Jane that were, was really going out into the community. Maybe Steve Watson did a little bit, Joe did a little bit. And I think we've really missed those events in the, in the UK. What do you, do you agree? Yeah, 100%. Is that, that contact? And also we've got so many people who have been with us throughout lockdown you know they've either done training courses with us or they've done your studio they've done my studio they've done master classes events with us we've never met these people we've <laughs> never met them face on it's like oh my gosh that would never have happened you know four years ago I know it is and it's really important that we get we get back out there on the road I, I mean you know you and I have both said it's not something that we want to do every weekend and I I, I'm definitely a fair weather driver. I don't want to drive in the winter and I don't want to go out when it's cold. <laughs> but I definitely want to go out this summer and we're really looking forward to to going back on the road and seeing everybody. So what for you, what's so special about when you do a face-to-face -face live event? Because you actually have done a couple of local events, haven't you, in Cambridge and you've brought together some of your former community class members have all been together so how was it when everyone got together again it was quite emotional to be honest it was really um you know people hadn't seen each other for for such a long time and these people were people that used to see each other week in week out so the events that i've done recently uh for my community fitness business that used to be um, was really, really important. But I think with regards to tours and workshops, we used to see these people probably two, three times a year, sometimes maybe once a year, but it was as if we'd never been apart. Mm -hmm. And it was that kind of, you know, contact again and, and seeing people and people would catch up. People used to do um, courses with each other. And I used to have this quite a lot with level three and fitness Pilates. And they'd stay avid friends forever and they mm. would chat to each other on, you know, social media. And but then we'd do a masterclass or we'd do a workshop and they'd catch up with each other again. And it was like, oh my gosh, like such a community feel. So I think for me personally, I'm so looking forward to seeing people I haven't seen for such a long time. But also I'm so looking forward to actually meeting people face to face because mm -hmm. we've got members who've done various fitness pilates qualifications with us who've, who've done it all online and they've contacted us and like i can't wait to meet you properly i can't you know and that's 
that's going to be so valuable. It's going to be so, so lovely to actually see people in flesh and, and catch up with them properly and, and go through more content than we would do if we were on Zoom. Because on Zoom, as much as we can do, it's not the same as, as everything that we get to do when we're on a live workshop. Yeah, I agree. And I think Zoom is so convenient. We are still going to continue doing all the workshops and training and all the education and things that we do. We're going to keep that going on Zoom because it is so easy. Thursday afternoon, 12 till 3, the, with the amount that we can we can cover in that time and everybody gets a recording. Uh, and I think it's just a huge bonus not to be, not to have to jump in your car and drive so you can get that information. But at least once a year, twice a year, I think it's important that we go out to the different regions. We we do a practical event so everyone can do the class, listen to the music on great speakers. They can chat to us, ask questions. If there's any tech issues that you have, they can talk to us. You know, they can see us both together. And I think we, we need that. The industry needs that. We need that as a business for sure. Yeah. And I think the fitness industry needs it. And I hope this will encourage other presenters and uh, instructors to go back on the road and start doing regional events again. Uh, and maybe not just for instructors, but for, for consumers. We're seeing all the big events are back, the fitness fiestas and the, the overseas events. You and I have just come back from Ibiza. It was really popular. We're at Greece this week. This is really busy. We've got the Fitness Pilates Summit in November, which is almost sold out and it's nine months away yeah so we can see there's an appetite for it for sure um so i think it's going to be it's going to be quite exciting to get together the hardest thing has been actually finding venues because back in the day you and i would do weekend venues and health clubs gyms back in the day used to be quiet at the weekends they would be busy monday to friday and there was always a big gap on a saturday or a sunday afternoon from 12 till 5 that you could hire. Now, so many of the clubs to get to drive members back into the clubs, they need to put on full timetables at the weekend, which is a very busy time now. Lots yeah. of families, things like David Lloyd, it's their busiest time. They've got classes running back to back. So it was quite difficult to actually find venues that we could hire, but we've done it. We've done it and we're excited. We're doing Banner Times in Sutton Coldfield, yeah. uh, which is just outside. We've got Guildford Spectrum. We're back at Guildford Spectrum, the good old <laughs> Spectrum <laughs> that we're looking forward to. Um, and then we're back, of course, at the Waterside Health Health Club and hotel that you and I have been to many multiple times. times. <laughs> and it was really good to contact Alice again and just say, Alice, are you still there? Can we book it? And she was straight back. Yep, yeah, I'm still here. And we can that that would be the thing. I think when you know we think about that nos nostalgia that yeah. comes with, you know, what we used to do and the amount of workshops we delivered and all that contact that we had with people. And you and I both know this. You know, we said this while we were in Ibiza. We speak every practically every day, but we haven't seen each other. We yeah. haven't seen you from we went like before Ibiza. I hadn't seen you for a year, and it was like. <laughs> Oh my God, but how many ideas did we come up with together yeah. once we saw each other? And even though we teach online, you know, and we'll teach online together, when we taught in Ibiza, it was totally different. It was totally <laughs> a different vibe. And those people got to experience a real, you know, a masterclass that we we offered yeah. which is really different from us being on zoom and teaching kind of tag team whereas me and you were together throughout it and that kind of really honed in that the tours are going to be super super magical and the, the summit is going to be something else because not only is it going to be me and you but we're going to have mike on board we're going to have jason on board we're going to have the you know the lads coming in giving their perspective of it and that's going to be so special for us all to be together and and be able to share all of our knowledge and our ideas with with everyone who's instructors that was so true, actually, wasn't it? When we got together in Ibiza, we just like had a whole host of, I of ideas of what we could do and where we could take things. And you and I both said we need to meet up now at least every couple of months, get together somewhere neutral where 
in a different surrounding because you just have so many ideas, um, which we did. So that's exciting. That's good. So I'm going to run through the itinerary for the day. So I'm going to kick off with Senior Strong, one of the most popular classes that both of us have done over the, the last few years. And it continually is it's something that we get messages about all the time is people need ideas for seniors um, and not just 60 plus, but 70 plus, 80 plus, even 90 plus, because there's so many instructors, we've got an aging population. So we're always looking for new ideas. So I'm going to kick it off with senior strong, and then I'm going to hand over the baton. And actually, so, we're, we're only doing 30 minutes. So it's going to be like the old days, 30 minutes of me, 30 minutes of you, 30 minutes of me, 30 minutes of you. But each class will be completely different. And we're going to pack it with loads of different ideas. It's going to be new stuff as well. Yeah. So if anyone's done stuff with us, you know, on the workshop, or the training you know we've got brand new ideas for all of our formats for these 30 minutes so it's not like you're going to be going through the same old 30 minutes that that we you we've covered before so I'm going to then go over with flex so one of again the most popular brands at the moment because movement and movement classes and mobility classes are so key no matter who you're teaching whether or not you're teaching older adults who want to stay more mobile into their you know older years or you're teaching athletes that want to improve their sport activity whatever it may be or you're teaching in village halls where people want to be able to feel better because they're sitting at desks all day and they want to be able to move and move freely it doesn't matter who you're you're teaching this X is, is absolutely key. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to be delivering some very different style of flex uh, yeah. for, our, for our tour. And then I think I'm then going straight into body weight lift lean, which is yeah. so popular as well. Is that right? Yeah, you're, you're straight in them. This is your forte. So, again, functional, are you going to do some functional training with that? Again, loads of different ideas for all demographics. And it's ideal for anyone who's teaching lift lean, but also anyone who's teaching any kind of conditioning classes and hasn't got multiple kits or maybe training clients at home and they haven't got lots and lots of equipment. Um, it's going to be uh, body weight. And we did very, very um, similar to this in the last lift lean update. But this is going to be brand new ideas uh, for the lift lean. So really focusing on getting strength and conditioning without any equipment, just using body weight, functional training, try play methods. Um, but again, new new ideas. So yeah, yeah really going to be good. Uh, and then it's me for the next two. So I'm doing the MenoFit Manifesto. So we're going to take a break then, i.e. we're not going to do any physical work. We're going to do Meno Bingo, <laughs> which is <laughs> going to be fun. We're going to look at some of the menopausal symptoms, peritomenopausal symptoms, and then how you can use health and fitness to improve those symptoms. It's a talk that um, I really enjoy doing. It's really fun, lighthearted. And if you are a perimenopausal, postmenopausal women, there's loads of takeaways there that you can use. And potentially you could do Meno no bingo with your ladies it's just a, a fun light-hearted look at the symptoms and how we can how can we can help them support them using health and fitness so and nutrition so I'm going to kick that off and then I'll go straight into cardio funk 80s <laughs> so this uh, I bought this back online a few months ago so all the old cardio funk track so pure energy have got this amazing funk album which has got like alexander o'neill and luther van dross and shalimar and a little bit of grandmaster flash kind of late 80s vibe uh, and i'm going to do very 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 simple verse chorus i'm just going to it's just it's all about the music it's all about the moves but it's very basic and I'm actually really hoping that everybody loves this and it's something that I could potentially could use at Blackpool next year so this would be like the guinea pigs so I'm looking forward to doing that um, and then you're coming in with your signature crunchless yeah. core crunchless which, is, core, which, which you, you know it's teach. always so always nice. yours which I'm you didn't call... get to do at Blackpool no, so this would be your chance no. to do it and I had it all planned so it's going to be what I was going to deliver in Blackpool. Um, I'm going to do my crunchless core. I'm going to talk a little bit about theory about, you know, why we do not do kind of 
old school ab sit up exercises and what's much more functional uh much more beneficial much more spine safe core exercises so anyone who's experiencing osteoporosis osteopenia spinal issues in any way shape or form this is going to be absolutely ideal but also going to give you that really really great training effect uh three dimensional um for the abdominals so yeah really looking forward to uh, to being able to do this because i did feel like oh I, you know you know what it's like any time where you spent time planning for something and then all of a sudden you can't do it or you you're not able to to follow it through and it's like Oh, <laughs> well, you know, you're I, do want it, share it. I want to share these ideas. Oh, absolutely. And it, yeah, so people always ask you about Crunchers Core. It's been one of the, at the big conventions, it's been something that you always get asked to do. It's one of the most popular sessions. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing you do that live. Then I'm going to do a little bit of walk fit. Again, I teach walk fit every single day, 6 a.m. <laughs> with my group. Who knew that indoor walking would be so popular? And yet it is. And of course, because it's summer now, we're seeing lots of the walk fit teachers are taking their walk fitters outdoors. They're getting the silent headphones. Um, and it's the workout that anybody can do. So looking forward to doing that just doing a short sort of 15 20 minutes again and it'd be lovely to do that live rather than doing it online and all the different configurations you can do you can do a lot of group stuff you can do partner work you can do like team walking and i'm going to build something a little bit different things that you actually can't do online so i'm looking forward to that and then you're going to conclude you're going to finish off the day aren't you with fitness pilates and it's new ideas for fitness pilates so our very very favorite exercises but with a completely new twist so if you teach fitness pilates whether or not you've done that with us recently within the last year or whether or not you did it with us 20 years ago um we want to keep you fresh we want to keep your your knowledge you know up there um, and i'm going to give you some real different ideas that you can do within your fitness pilates moves for your your classes so yeah it's going to be uh it's going to be a good one and yeah that will conclude the day i think everyone will be absolutely cream cracking by that time. <laughs> i know then we've got to drive back i hope we can do it all so if you do want to come join us on either the birmingham the guildford or the manchester we are looking to do a bristol event and a london event possibly now august or september um, but they're the three main ones now that we're running in June and July, which is sort of before the summer break. So we'd love to see you. If you're listening to this on the podcast, I'll put all the details underneath in the show notes. If you're watching this on YouTube or any social media plat channels, I'll put all the details below. Um, if for any reason you can't book on, it will mean that the venues are full because there's a, there's a ceiling on all of the events. There's only so many places that we have. So book up as soon as you can. And if you do want to bring your participants or friends, you know, anybody that loves fitness, maybe uh, class members, please do bring them along. And if you've got any parties of five or more, give me a shout as soon as you can so we can give you a nice discount. We can offer you a, a free place if you bring five or more people. So for sure, give me a shout on that. But thanks, Kelly. Thank you for taking the time to do this. I no really problem. appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, this content won't be content that, that's recorded. So, you know, it's it's brand new content so make sure if you want to keep yourself fresh that you you definitely book in um and it certainly won't be geared to just instructors like yeah. Rachel said if you Everybody. want to bring participants this will be absolutely ideal for them to have like a, almost kind of like a a mini day convention yeah them absolutely. to give them little snippets of, of different style of classes Fantastic. And of course, you'll get a certificate of attendance, all the notes, everything. We've got merchandise. Yep, we've got the whole caboodle. So thanks, Kelly. And I'll talk to no everybody worries. soon. Thanks, Thank everyone. You.